What's up, people? We are on a trip to, uh, where are we going? Illinois to go do a little bit of computer work. It's yep. going to take us about two and a half hours to get to our location. And then it'll take us another two and a half hours to get back in about an hour to an hour and a half doing the work. So we got a full fun day ahead of us. I'll take a couple clips as we go along. Hopefully we'll see a couple cool sights. Probably not. It's just a drive. How fun can those be in a landscape like what we got here? Or just a lot of flat areas. But, we'll see. Unfortunately, I'm not feeling the greatest uh, these days. Uh, I've been a little sick the past couple days. And uh, I've been practically overdosing on Tylenol and ibuprofen. I've probably taken close to 20, maybe 24 Tylenol in the last 24 hours. So, uh, I'm high on Tylenol. My brother thinks this is one of the trucks that go to our... Uh, our job you might be right because it has it's the same uh, trailer numbers as what we would have in the same uh, company name on the trailer but we'll see if it's PTI or not I do not believe that's one of ours unless it's a rider it's a rental it's a Pinsky that's probably dad and we're at the Mississippi River in my SSI, SSI BBI, yeah. I don't know what that little fort is. It's in, randomly in the middle of the river, you guys. See it right there? It's supposed to stop recording on accident. But it's like some sort of little fort out in the middle of the river. I wonder what that's for. Damn, that dude's Damn. down on the road. PTI. Another one. Ooh, let's see if there's any more PTIs. There's a PTI up there, I think. I think that red one right there. Nope. Yeah. No? No? Oh, man, I can't read that from here. Hogan, or not Hogan, but JBH. JB Hunt. Illinois. See what man. I mean? Lots of flat lands. Yeah. Illinois is me. Illinois is me. Missouri is miserable to me. It's called misery. I know. There's a book named after it. The book is very accurate as to how it feels to live in Missouri, you know. You broke your legs when you got there, and then and then uh and then it, once you live in there for a while, it feels like someone stuck a board between your legs and hit each leg with a freaking baseball bat again. You get what do you have you ever read that book? That sounds very familiar. It's misery, the book. Stephen King. Yep. That's a weird bridge when there's no river over there. They're just going over a field. Wow. 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 Hey, is that a nuclear power plant over there? Huh? Probably coal. Man, I wish we could go see that nuclear power plant again. I want to film Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, an oil refinery. Oh. There's three big ones. Now we're in Edwardsville. I'm not sure where that's at. Is that Missouri or Illinois? Okay, so we're officially in Illinois. I don't know how long we've been in Illinois. Apparently this is a lot of nice old uh, houses out here. Victorian era houses. Oh, look, in Domino's. I want some Domino's now. That's a nice looking house. <laughs> My brother says uh, the owner of the Rams used to live out here somewhere in some big old mansion. It's a nice, a pretty nice place. Did I tell you guys I got a date on the 25th coming up? Yeah, we're going to go see uh, Justice League. We're going to go to Fuji's restaurant. It's a Japanese hibachi-like place, hibachi grill-like place. Uh, well, no, hibachi grill it is, hibachi is the bu 
yeah, it is a hibachi grill, but it's called Fuji's. Japanese hibachi. Japanese hibachi, yeah. Because isn't that hub, that place we, that's a buffet called the hibachi grill as well? Yeah. Okay, so I really want to clarify that, that it's not that crappy buffet place that my brother loves going to. Bring you back in the car now. I'm setting up a new, a new uh, computer for them to use, uh, and my brother's over here extracting a bunch of files for something. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but uh, it's 160 gigs he has to do. It's gonna take five hours to extract. Damn. So no, there wasn't very many sold. This thing looks a lot of damn good conditions. Well, he just had the frame off, had the body on the rotisserie, and had the, the whole body redone. Yeah. Now, yeah. I, I've only seen one El Camaro. And it was, I believe, in Wood River. And... What's up, guys? It is about 1 a.m. in the morning. Uh, still in Illinois. Long story behind that, my brother decided that he wanted just to stay in town. Uh, let me move over. He, he wanted just to stay in town because he's getting paid tomorrow from somebody out here. Didn't want to drive all the way back to Lynn, which would be like two hours away. And then drive all the way back here again tomorrow. Of course, he could have just had it money grammed, but nobody thinks of that. Technology. Well, that's not even the most amazing part. Yeah, it was because my, I couldn't cash the check he got me because I don't have a bank on me. So, my brother got a motel that is worse than the motel in Joe's apartment. Not far from it. It smells like piss and old cigarettes. There's bullet holes in the wall. Fist print, fish, fist holes in the wall. I'm too embarrassed to show you. I'm not feeling good. Let me look for a Type C. All right, down here. First. Talk to you guys later. Imagine trying to sleep with my brother in the room and his snoring. I'm getting no sleep tonight. He doesn't believe he snores. It gets a lot louder at times too. Somebody shoot me. What's up my fellow humans? I got really dark bags under my eyes I can see that uh, got like no sleep cause this fool fucking jeez I don't even know how to say it it's like I'm sleeping next to a 747 yeah well you snore too dude and you snored louder than me look at that I got bags and wrinkles all over my face now um, I I, you just made me prematurely age, and I accidentally stabbed my nose with my own finger. <laughs> you should have been sticking your finger up your nose. It's not. Whatever. He's, you know, a little special. Uh, now we're uh, going somewhere. Where? I do not know. Where are we going? Let's finish our work. Man, I'm hungry, though. Screw work. You got money going you, huh? You got money. No, I'm not paying for everything for you. Well, you owe me money. Okay. I got Five, 20 bucks. $5,000. We gonna go get something to eat after we're done working? You're gonna end up just like getting paid 20 bucks. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. I'm, what? Let's see. You got half a hotel room. Uh uh. You thought that was not even my choice. I'm and not, I was not, not happy bring, about I'm not it. I'm not bringing you with me anymore. <laughs> you fucking shit yourself all fucking All right, see, now I have to delete. Excuse me? You were farting up a storm all night long, sir. Dude, the first thing you did within the first 30 seconds was shit something worse <laughs> I've ever smelled in my life. <laughs> hey.
hey, when a guy's got to take a dump, a guy's got to take a dump. This is really family friendly, by the way. Yeah, you took a dump in your pants. <laughs> no. <laughs> and yet, you know the irony of that, brother? Is it smelled better than that fucking room you rented? Yeah, that's right. You know it, and that's why you ain't got nothing to say. Burn. Burn. You know what else my brother did? He pissed in a trash can. Because he couldn't hold it because I was using the bathroom. How gross is that? And, and then that, I had to put it outside. You were so the size of this oil refinery over there. We're how many miles away from that do you think we are? About two. We're about two miles away from that we're refinery. We did a better shot. Okay, we'll get, well, I'll show you guys right here. Hopefully. I mean, we can drive right by it if you want. That thing is massive. It's two oil refineries. <coughs> Shell and uh, BP. We're sorry. There's our environmental hazard. Isn't that steam though? No. What is that? That's fucking chemicals. Pretty sure that's steam. Oh, that's why most of the town over there has cancer in one form or another. All right. And that's why the whole sky is just white instead of blue, because you know it's all that. It's all, it's all contrail chemicals. My brother says midnight in the desert is ending. Sorry about that. Had to sneeze. Uh, I don't think anybody knows what midnight in the desert is. That's how unpopular it was. It's like an Art Bell coast to coast show. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Boy, do I look like I've just got no neck and no chin. It's just like one fat roll. <laughs> uh, called your giblet. <laughs> Bring me some. Damn, I can't even gobble. <laughs> Did you hear my gobble? <laughs> Damn, I can't even laugh. It's not the fucked up sound of turkey. Uh, yeah, it is. it's a special ed turkey there. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I need a haircut. I got sleeper's head. You need a face cut. G give me my face back. Only one person on this planet can wear this stuff. I ordered my TV. It shipped this morning. When I was reviewing uh, about a week ago, I was looking at all the uh, reviews for this buyer. He has like a 98% uh, over the last 12 months with like 50,000 or almost 60,000 buyers so that's pretty good if you ask me but a number of people said recently in fact it was like within the last week or two worth of orders I've noticed uh, at least when they posted the review said that their TVs came with smashed screens like the box would be just fine but the screen would be smashed so we'll see I'm going to try and remember to vlog uh, the entire unboxing from the moment I get it from the uh, from UPS or whoever's shipping it, if I'm awake or if I'm there, because uh, it'll be here between the 24th, I think it said, and the 28th. Uh, well, that was weird. That was a wear the seatbelt sign, but he's wearing a seatbelt. No, it's cold and just fucking. No, my brother's car is getting super janky and it's starting to mess up a lot. No, just the battery. Anyways, yeah. So I ordered TV. Yeah. Gonna earn some extra money today. Got a date next week. Things are looking good if I could just get rid of these sleep bags from under my eyes. And I gotta work tonight, the graveyard shift. Ugh. Ugh, hating life. Hashtag hating life. <laughs> All the good things. One, one, one bad thing. Hashtag eight in life. We're sorry. Look, everybody. We're in St. Louis. You can see the tippy top of the arch. <laughs>
I never can get close enough to where I can actually enjoy that thing. I've leaned up against it and touched it. Yeah? Yeah. There we go. That's the best I can do in a moving vehicle, you guys. Maybe yeah, we'll get one last shot, hopefully. Here's all our hub trailers. There you go, I think we're gonna get one more good shot, you guys. Bada boom, bada bing. Not half bad. We'll get pretty close to it. Finally on the way home. Then I get to go to work tonight. Let's take some photos now. Take one more video clip for you guys. Look at that. That's pretty cute. <laughs> What's up guys? It is my birthday today. I'm officially 35 years old. Ah, getting older and older. And older. Every second that I'm alive, I'm a closer to dying. I'm a second closer to dying, and I'm a second older. <sighs> I'm off at 6 a.m. I'm going home, going to sleep. Probably won't be celebrating my birthday until tomorrow, though, so. Or Monday. Because it's Sunday right now. Talk to you in a bit. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the final clip of the week of this week's vlog. Um, today's November 19th. Uh, 35 years ago today, I was born. It's my birthday today. Unfortunately, I work, so didn't really celebrate it or do anything. But I got myself some donuts. I ate a donut. Uh, a little package of donuts. So it's not like I went overboard with it. Uh, I just was thinking about birthdays and getting older, feeling like, uh, feeling like I still haven't really done and done much, you know, with myself. I feel like I've made a bunch of steps backwards in life. Uh, a couple years ago, I feel like I was making a a bunch of steps forward you know I was owning a business I was being successful and now here I am just doing general work again uh, and I I sit here and I think to myself where am I gonna be in five years am I am I ever going to accomplish my dreams um, and I want to discuss what those dreams are uh, first of all, I, I would like to have a, a wife and maybe a kid or two kids. Um, I'd like to be successful. You know, I need to get a car. I'm really going to be working on that next year. That's my biggest uh, goal. I'm going to get this desk I've been talking so much about, and then I'm saving up for a car that I want to buy all at once. I don't want to have to pay payments on. I'm not a big fan of paying payments on stuff. Um, and then after that, I'm going to move out of my brother's, well, it's ours since we all pay for it together, but to me, it's my brother's, so, and get my own place again. Hopefully, I'll be dating somebody by this time. Uh, I'm, I have a date next Saturday, so wish me luck then, huh? Uh, <coughs> with a lady that I have been talking a lot to, um, her name is Katie. Uh, she seems pretty cool. She seems pretty cool. Uh, we seem to have a lot in common, and, uh, that's a, a definite bonus. Sorry, I'm, like, super tired for some reason. I have been for, like, this entire week, pretty much. Uh, every day. Uh, and I'm getting over this sickness, so that's not helping. <laughs> oh, boy. But, uh, yeah, so I hope to, uh, you know, I hope to have a family, and... 
this, that's what I hope to have had by now in, already. I was hoping to have that by like 30. Here I am, 35, and uh, I'm no closer to to meeting my life goals than I was at 20. Uh, I kind of feel like a lot of my life has been wasted. And that bums me out because, you know, we only have so much time. Uh, I'm going to adjust you there. There we go. Yeah, we only have so much time and uh, so many opportunities to accomplish our dreams and such. And, you know, I'm worried that I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to end up doing that. Uh, <clears throat> so, I also like to own my own business again, you know. Start a business back up. Become successful. Leave my mark. Uh, shoot. Get my own house. That'd be nice, my own house someday. You know, one thing you don't think about when you're getting older is you're like, oh, I don't want to get older. You know, I, I just, I don't want to get older, you know. You want to stay young forever because... And then when you do think, you know, you accept that you're going to get older, but you never consider that you're going to physically and mentally get older, too. Like, uh, you go from being uh, youthful and healthy and vibrant to old and uh, physically in, in, incapable of doing the things you used to do when you were younger. Do you feel uh, less? It's just for some people, I imagine. And that's something that I worry a lot about. Uh, I do, I do. Uh, I worry about losing my ability to, uh, to manage myself on my own when I get older. I worry about what I'm going to do financially when I get older. Uh, where the world itself is going to be at. Sometimes I wish I was born, uh, born today because it, it seems like technology in the medical field and longevity of life is skyrocketing because of current technology and future technologies that are in the works. Uh, they say that the first person that's going to live to like 150 has already been born. Uh, so maybe I'm one of them, you know, but I doubt it. Let's just say that they, if they did have the technology, uh, it's probably going to be for those who are super rich and... Uh, unfortunately, I'm not wealthy enough to deserve to live to 150. So, yeah. I guess I better get working on that, huh? Get working on making the money I need to live to, to buy my way into 150. And apparently they completed the first human head transplant recently in the past week or so. But it was on a dead person, so I don't know how they know it was a success. <laughs> I mean, you could just take one head off and put it on another and sew the skin shut and be like success but uh unless there's yeah you get what i'm saying apparently you're gonna try it on a living person in, in uh in uh the next few months or so that'd be cool that'd be interesting see what they do go do from there then you're gonna have the uh the uh what is that show i'm tired with bender uh futurama where the heads are in in jars and they're talking because That'd be cool. Anyways, yeah, I just want to do this little uh, number. Talk about birthdays and and uh, that sort of stuff. Uh, I think this vlog is long enough, so I'm going to get off now. I'm going to see you guys. Oh, we're going to celebrate my birthday party, I think, tomorrow. Uh, but none of the family really got me anything. And if they did, it's not arriving till later down the road. So I don't imagine I'll be much. So I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.